Hey everybody, Flux here. Today I'm going to show you how to make it significantly easier to see other players across multiple games. It will allow you to make your games more vibrant and brighter with no impact on your FPS. I personally have been using this for a good year or so now. I absolutely love it across almost every game I play. I use it for FPS games like Call of Duty so it's easier to see the enemies, but I also use it for games like World of Warcraft. It essentially just makes the game pop more and feel more vibrant allowing the game to feel more immersive, essentially. Well, alright, let's get right into it. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, I do upload weekly. And feel free to check out my socials in the description below. I post daily on Twitter, and we have a very active and helpful community in Discord that is continuing to grow by the day. Alrighty, so other than that, right into Vibrance. So the first program that I would recommend, well essentially the only program that I use, but there are other alternatives that I do want to show you near the end as well. So Vibrance GUI, I'll leave a link in the description below, but essentially the setup, is in the setup and installation is very minimal and easy to do. All you have to do is hit the download for desktop or you know if you're on laptop whatever, you just click download. When you get the download, open it up and extract it anywhere you want on your computer. You are going to see when you go to extract it, it says Vibrance GUI. It's literally just one very small program. It takes almost nothing to run in the background on the computer and I literally never turn it off. All right, so let's open it and we'll walk you through the setup. Okay, so we have Vibrance GUI here. You can see it's very basic, very simple. So over, we'll go over the settings here first. I personally have it set to auto start on boot it takes like it adds no extra time to booting up on the computer more or less and then i don't have to worry about you know running it every time before i want to go play my games other than that i do have it set to affect only the primary monitor and i have it set to never change resolutions and you'll see why in a moment okay so the next thing that i would recommend doing is actually booting up the game that you want to set up once you have that booted up, click add. You're going to see it pull up all the programs and stuff you have running in the background. So then just click whatever game you wanted to add. For instance, I would do Modern Warfare. Now you'll see that open it up here. You're going to see it say change resolution when in game. Never check this. That is the other reason that we have it check marked here as well to never change resolutions. Because obviously you're not going to want this program to alter your resolutions, you can do that in the settings itself for the game. Other than that here, you're going to see it say in-game vibrance level. This is going to be how much you can make the game pop, how much more color and everything you're essentially adding to it. Depending on the game will depend on, you know, the percentage that you want. And well, of course, the monitor and, you know, the full setup that you use. I personally go anywhere from like 60 to 80% depending on the game that I'm playing. As you can see for Modern Warfare and Warzone, I personally use about 75%. So that's essentially everything for Vibrance GUI. You don't need any special graphics card or anything like that as long as you have an AMD or an Nvidia GPU, you should have no issues with setting it up and running it. Now we do have one other option. Unfortunately, I don't know the alternative for, a for what you would do with AMD, but I do know what you would do for Nvidia. So if you don't want to install a third party program, we do have an option under the Nvidia control panel. So let's boot the Nvidia control panel up here. Now I personally don't use this because it will affect everything, not just the game that you are playing. And I personally don't want everything else to feel oversaturated. I also prefer to keep my colors as accurate as possible for when I'm working on projects. But what you're going to do is boot up the NVIDIA control panel. Under display on the left side you'll see it say adjust, adjust desktop color settings. Now you're going to select the monitor that you would like to adjust. And then down here you can see brightness, contrast, gamma. And then the big one here is going to be your digital vibrance. So just Turn up your digital vibrance and then that will affect it for everything on this monitor that you're changing it for. Again, me personally, I don't want I don't want that, so I keep mine at the default settings to kind of keep everything as accurate as possible. 
Alright, so last but not least, unfortunately this isn't something I'm going to be able to show you, but monitor settings. So I tend to forget that you're able to adjust some basic settings on your monitor, and I almost never do, but you know, occasionally I'll remember, I'll go through and I'll do what I need to do, but you know, it's kind of a set and forget thing. I won't be showing you this again because different monitors have different settings as to what you prefer. But that's just something I wanted to throw in there to make sure you guys don't completely forget about it like I tend to. Alrighty guys, so if this video helped you, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any further questions, leave a comment and I'll do my best to help. Otherwise, feel free to check out my other social medias below. Alrighty everybody, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Take care and I'll see you again soon.